Hello everyone, welcome to Exemplar Physics. In this video, we are going to look into the topic multiples and submultiples along with some common SI prefixes and their symbols. Although this topic isn't part of any chapter, but it has a great significance. This video will be featured in both the playlist, Basics of Physics, and in the chapter, Class 11th Physics, Units and Dimensions. If you haven't watched the other videos in the playlist, please watch them too. The link to the playlist are in the description section. Now, let's jump into the video. Multiples and submultiples. Generally in maths, multiple is defined as product result of one number multiplied by another number. For example, here 3 is multiplied by several numbers and 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, which we get after the multiplication with 3, are called as multiples of 3. Here in physics, sometimes we represent the magnitude of physical quantity as power of 10. And why? That we will discuss a little later. Just for now, positive powers of 10 are called as multiples. And negative powers of 10 are called as submultiples. Now the question, why do we need multiples and submultiples? The magnitude of physical quantities vary over a wide range. For example, size of a hydrogen atom. It is in the range of 10 power minus 10 meters. And the size of our galaxy, that is Milky Way, is around 10 power 21 meters. That's 21 zeros after the digit 1. Mass of an electron is around 10 power minus 30 kg, whereas the size of the Earth is around 10 power 25 kg. A person can wink in one tenth of a second, whereas an average elephant lives for 10 power 9 seconds. Now you can understand that how varied are the values of physical quantities. Writing such small and huge numbers every time we study about them is not only tiring and exhausting, but there's always a chance of errors creeping while doing a copy or calculations. So, such a small or large quantity is reduced to positive or negative power of 10. Writing them becomes so easy and hence multiples and submultiples are important. CGPM has recommended standard prefixes for certain powers of 10. Let's look into them. First, let's check multiples. Here I have made three columns. The first one is power of 10, then the prefix and the symbol. Let's do it in increasing order. 10 power 1, deca, symbol, small d, small a, da. 10 power 2, hecto, symbol h 10 power 3 kilo k 10 power 6 mega capital m remember from here onwards all the letters are capital so 10 power 6 mega capital m 10 power 9 giga capital g 10 power 12 terra capital t 10 power 15, Peta, capital P, 10 power 18, Exa, capital E. You may be wondering that, how are you going to use them? I'll give you just an, ex an example. Suppose you have measured a distance and the distance is 200 meters. Now this 200 meters can be written as 2 into 10 power 2. 10 power 2 is 100, 2 into 100, 200 meters. So now from this table, if you see hecto here, its power is 10 power 2. Hence, you can write it as 2 hectometers. Suppose you want to write the same quantity in terms of kilometers. That is also possible. So you, we can write 200 at 0.2 into 10 power 3. 10 power 3 has prefix kilo, hence you can write it as 0.2 kilometers. 
In the same way, as per the convenience, we will be using the prefix and the power of 10. Let's check sub multiples. Sub multiples. Let's go in the decreasing order. First of all, 10 power minus 1, it is called as deci capital D. So, in the earlier you have seen 10 power 1, right? What was 10 power 1? So, 10 power 1 was deca. And the symbol was da. And 10 power minus 1 is deci. 10 power minus 1 is deci symbol D. Do not get confused between these two. Next we have 10 power minus 2 centi symbol C. 10 power minus 3 milli symbol M. 10 power minus 6 micro symbol mu. And please notice here all the letters are small and only just one that is the symbol for micro is a Greek letter that is mu. That's all our English alphabets. If I talk about distance, the range micro is used for measuring the distance or size of microorganisms. 10 power minus 9 nano symbol n 10 power minus 12 pico symbol p 10 power minus 15 femto symbol f in terms of distance this could be the size of nucleus of an atom 10 power minus 18 ato a you have to memorize these powers of 10 along with prefix and symbols as they are remember these all are specified by cgpm and hence everyone has to follow it as convention now since we have gone through the multiples and submultiples, let's do some questions so that it would be helpful to you. First question for you: 7 p.m. P stands for P stands for picometer. So if you remember in the table, 10 power minus 12 is pico, hence P into mu. Mu stands for micro, 10 power minus 6. The only Greek letter symbol in the prefixes. Hence, we have to convert 7 picometer into micrometer. Let's do that. So, here 7 picometer be equal to x micrometer. Remember, the x is our answer. So, from table, I can write 7 picometer as 7 into. 10 power minus 12 meters as well as on the right hand side x micrometers can be written as the power of micro is 10 power minus 6 meters from this i can write x is equal to 7 into 10 power minus 12 divided by this term 10 power minus 6. So, using the property of exponents a power m by a power n, the result is a power m minus n. In the same way, I can write x is equal to 7 into here 10 power minus 12. In the denominator, we have 10 power minus 6. So, heads can be written as 12 minus minus 6. So, this will be 7 into 10 power 12 minus 12 plus 6. So, to make space, let us move this aside. So, let us now we have space that so we can write 
x is equal to 7 into 10 power minus 12 plus 6 is minus 6. Hence, I can write the answer here. The answer is 7 picometer is equal to 7 into 10 power minus 6 micrometer. So let us put it in a box. So this is our answer. If you are copying it, you can pause the video at any time in order to copy. So that's our answer. Now let's do the one more question. The next question is convert 5 milliampere into mega ampere. Small m stands for milli, capital M stands for mega. Capital A is amperes. We have already discussed about it in fundamental quantities. Now let's write it 5 milliampere is equal to. So let our answer be x, x mega amperes okay so before going further let's find out what is the power per milli if you remember very good else i have written here 10 power minus 3 is milli m and 10 power 6 is mega capital m the more and more questions you do you will be able to memorize them so let's continue here so i can write this as 5 milli power is 10 power minus 3 amperes is equal to x mega is 10 power 6 amperes hence i can write here x is equal to 5 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 10 power this quantity we am taking on to the other side 10 power 6. So again same property a power m by a power n what I am going to get a power m minus n. So I can write x is equal to 5 into 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 3 minus 6. So I'm going to get 5 into 10 power minus 9. Let's have some space. Yeah, now I can write the final answer here. Let me write the final answer. So 5 milliampere is equal to 5 into 10 power minus 9 mega ampere. Let me put it in a box. So that is your answer. I hope you have understood how to do these type of problems. Always these will be the part of every problem you are going to do in physics. Hence remembering them is very important. Dealing with the powers is very important and knowing the prefix is always important. So the, those were the questions I had. Now I have a question for you. So do this question and write your answer in the comment section. So the question is convert to K s into m s. K stands for kilo s seconds. So convert 2 kiloseconds into milliseconds. M stands for milli and s stands for second. So convert 2 kiloseconds into milliseconds. Please write your answer in the comment section after solving this. If you have any problem regarding this or any other topic, please mention them in the comment section. I will come up with a new video for that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please like the video and share it with your friends and family members. We will meet in the next video. 
बाय बाय